I'm hurting, I'm hurting my foot. Yeah, and depending on how close this best of five set is, we may or may not see a pop up. Yeah. Either way, I'm sure to be some smash. Larry, having to put his tag in, unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah, the DLC like that? Come on, man. No DLC just yet, man. I mean, so far we lack in DLC. People like Plant. People have, people yeah. have a have an affiliate for the Plant game. People love Joker, that's for sure. Yeah, Joker's not even out. Everyone's a Joker man. Yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah. I feel, I, in my honest opinion, I do feel like Joker's the new Cloud. Everybody was so hyped for Cloud when he came out. Yeah, fair enough. And, and everyone and was then like, he's oh. going to come out and be like, oh, I hate this character. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be so good. Like, oh, everybody has a pocket Cloud. Oh, everybody has a pocket Joker, right? Look, if I'm paying money for extra characters, I want them to be good. Okay. Uh, I want to give a good shout out to my friend Jumpsteady. Uh, go ahead and reach out to me. He did let me know that Mr. R is standing actually because of his back pain. Oh, okay. Okay. Good to know. So thank you so much for Jumpsteady for reaching yeah, out to me. Yeah, appreciate that. But let's go inside. Mr. R versus Larry Lur. This is actually to make it into top 24. Yes, it is. And it, it's unexpectedly soon, I would say, yeah. for these two to play. I mean, we talked about this tournament, right? Super stacked just for the last chance qualifier. And immediately, Larry taking the time to pay no respect to that upbeat. I didn't think you could just do that. But Larry's showing us how it's done. And Fox up smash will reach up onto the platforms, at least at the very peak. So Mr. Rogers got to be really careful. Especially coming back from the ledge, that back air is so menacingly good. All right, I like it. Larry taking his time on that platform. We're going to get back on the stage. Avoid getting hit by Mr. R, but he, Mr. R, I with the new chair. Almost get the take chase. Okay, well, I mean, it was, that, that's one of those land in front of me, please moments. Yeah. Down tilt, I like that. Mr. R is he's, he's hunting. He's hunting for an early stock. Yeah. I'm with it. I mean, he needs to make a play. He's down. He's down almost a full stock. I do like the fact that Larry is kind of understanding his recovery options as well. He's not going for the classic Fox side B on the stage because he knows he will get punished. He has no reason to at that point. These frame traps have been so powerful for yeah. Larry. Mr. R has not been able to get out of the disadvantage. You know, Larry actually did talk about how on, on Twitter how dash attack forward tilt is a possible really good uh, follow up from Fox. But that forward tilt from Quab is a good killer from Fox. Man, Larry has been very oppressive up to this point, but Mr. R finally getting the advantage. Can he keep it? Not too long. Mr. R is in that percent where weak hit up smash, or weak hit uh, Nair into up smash will confirm. He's got to watch out for up tilt into back air as well. Mm -hmm. All right, Mr. R looking for that spacing. That's, if you wanted to punish your side at that situation, it would have been that one. Yeah, Mr. R is very cognizant of all the kill options that Larry has been hunting for, like the little setups and uh, gimmicks that he's been, he's kind of just trying to put him in disadvantage or find that Nair into up smash. Dash attack. Oh, do not air dodge like that. Careful on that one. Yeah, Fox is so fast, he can cover so many options that way. But I do like that Larry, he gets a cross up and he immediately says, you know what, I see nothing, go to shield and find another angle. Yeah, absolutely. And that's something that we're going to see a lot. Fox jab, so quick, so powerful, does so much percent. This is big for Larry, gets a dash attack into another nair. Mr. R has not been able to jump out of any of these combos. And the air dodges have been tech chased every single time, so if Mr. R can kind of shorten up this disadvantage state, then maybe he can find his way back into this game. But so far, Larry going to town. That's going to be a grab, up throw, trying to juggle. Waiting to end up on a landing here. I like it from Larry. Looking for the scope on that one. <laughs> there it is. Oh, oh, able to tech. Maybe one more. Pulls the trigger on the up smash, but I respect it. Yeah. He's still got an extra stock to play with. But you gotta be careful when it comes to the neutral here. If Mr. Larry gets a few victories there, things can be looking, can be looking bad for Larry. Now here's the issue. If Larry is hunting too much for the weak hit in there, he may get punished for it. He's taking a lot of percent so far, those up -bees paying dividends. Exactly. Oh, oh my no goodness! Tech. And I told you, man, a little bit of a couple wins from the neutral from Mr. R, and Larry will find himself at a bad spot. Mr. R once again showing great prowess at reaction tech chasing.
getting that F smash on the no tech. Larry, he's got he's got a he had it. He's doing well. Yeah. He's just gotta he's gotta seal the stocks out a little bit quicker. And it's and it's and it's the way that Mr. R also fought Zen, right? Zen did not go for the proper tech or a tech roll, and he was able to punish him for that situation. Larry fighting himself at the same punishment right. Mr. R had towards Zen. So let's go into the next game. Game two. Game one. Obviously, Warren and Mr. R. Larry had momentum the whole game yeah, up until did. that end, that last stock, though. So we'll see if Larry can figure out what he did well and put that into action here in game two. Right off the bat, Mr. R with some huge damage. 97% on Larry so far. And that is going to be a jab into the instant turnaround back air. Up the out of the shield, Larry feeling the heat from Mr. R as he's going more relentless this one. He's got a lot of momentum into his hands. Especially taking that last game over Larry. Nice good dash attack. Sensing that Larry wanted to definitely drift himself back to get the ledge. Larry has not been able to get anything going for him. He finally gets a dash attack. That's what he needs. He needs to get those little setups where he can put Mr. R above him. I like it. Looking for the punishment on the landing. It's hard face for Larry, but he gets the neutral air. Tech away, super dangerous. Oh! Down air into the back air. That's a new one. Nice I like the challenge. nair. The falling nair is perfect there. You can also do down air. A lot of options. The nair was perfect, though, because it sent him in a more horizontal angle. Okay. Larry. Looking for some more damage. He's got to get some. Mr. R. Looking to seal the stock out. One heavy hit will do it. There's oh. the back air. And I like the fact that Larry even saw that he might have been hit by Mr. R. Because he was looking on the landing. He tried to stop himself, but Mr. R still found that opportunity. Hey, Larry. I like how he's going for this empty hop. Looking for an opportunity to come against Mr. R. But the minute he tries to reach in for a grab, Mr. R just busts the up the out of shield. Yeah, I, I want to see Larry start baiting some of these upbees. You saw it one time. But other than that, Mr. R has been on the money every single time that he upbees. Nice, lands him with a down air, gets another neutral air. Larry looking to just get some extension here, and he oh, tries to go for a back air. Yeah, caught his foot. Definitely another you reach, I teach moment. Well said. Well said. Yeah. And definitely Larry feeling that one. 2 0 for Mr. R, man. This could be one of our first big upsets of the day. Yeah. Second being, Stro well, Schroeder was seated over left and wasn't. Yeah, he was. Okay. And that's what I'm. That's what I've been talking about, right? The Smash Four resume precedes them, but Larry yeah. still hasn't found that opportunity here, and he's down 2-0 against Mr. R. He had a lot of momentum. Game one, game two, Mr. R reversed that momentum into his favor. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, I didn't actually see what stage they picked. Well, earlier we saw Fox reverse 3-0 in ZD. We'll see if Larry can replicate that for himself. Yeah. We're going in to game three. Mr. R up 2-0. Town and City, Prom versus Fox. Larry, what can you do to try to start evening the score up? Yeah. I like that. I saw that he caught the shield. The Shar paid respects. And that's a fine. Let me get my jab. Barry gets the follow up on the tech as well. I can close to dash attack in the middle chair. Puts Mr. Arch at the edge guard phase. And immediately Mr. Arch gets a little bit of a breather here. And this is the exact opposite of the last game that we saw. That was terrible DI. Yeah, no, that was, that, was, that was really bad DI. Some, and SoCal, we would call that man QCI. Yeah. Larry getting some big damage. 40% on Mr. R's second stock already. That bad DI from Mr. R was the momentum Larry needed. And yeah. He's definitely got Mr. R on the receiving end now. Looking for the landing. Not able to find him with that dash tag. We did see Mr. R make a pretty big comeback in game two, though. Yeah. Game one, rather. So we'll see if Mr. R is able to do something similar. But Larry, he's just off to the race. Hop grab. Mr. R's been doing a really good job so far up until this point of playing the get off the game. Getting his damage that way. 
some Larry has just been grabbing him. He, yeah. he hasn't been letting, he hasn't been doing anything unsafe on his shield. And yeah. that's what Mr. R, Mr. R wants to do things to punish unsafe options. But Larry has just been doing such a great job of weaving in and out of his shield and his punishing attempts. Yeah. Larry has been paying his due, his, his due diligence, right? And he spaces himself for Mr. R and comes back to the punish. That's when he needs to start adapting. Getting the whiff punishers. Fine, you want to go for up B? Let me get away and come back for the punish. Because I will find it on your landing. Oh, he gets the got him. The forward end. Got him. That is so clutch from Larry with a quick three stock in yes. game three. That was unprecedented considering what we had seen previously. In the Larry needed that three stock to swing momentum back into his favor. Like you said, we saw ZD get the reverse 3 0 over Sweet Tea and see if Larry can go ahead and do the same thing. Yeah, man. Larry, feeling himself a little bit. He's got something going for him. Yeah. Mr. R looks a little lost. Yeah. Oh, for sure, dude. The way that Larry played that last game, like I said, he started paying his respects. You're going to come in with the up beat? Fine. I'll find the punch. I'll find yeah. the landing. That's what he did game one, right? He punished the landing from Mr. R. Right. And he was getting so much mileage off of grabs. Uh -huh. Like, Mr. R would just hold shield in front of him saying, please hit my shield. Yeah. And... Larry would come down looking like he was going to do like a falling air, which is a great combo starter yeah. for Fox, so it's very expected most of the time. And then would just get the grab and get versions off of the grab while he was trying to uh, read all of the disadvantage options for Mr. R. So Mr. R, while I think his game plan in Game 3 was solid, his disadvantage was just being covered in all facets. Now this game, looking way different from the past few. Both of these guys getting even amounts of damage right off the bat. Larry. That's the up throw. Larry looking for the punishment on the landings yet again. And notice that instead of, he opted to do that instead of going for stage control. Exactly. Because the stage control, if you just forward throw there, Prom's just going to get back to the ledge and there's not a whole lot you can do about it. But if you put him above you, you can catch a landing. You can potentially, exactly. you know, if he air dodges above you, he's gone. Like, you just get so much percent for that. And Mr. R's objective at that point is to try to come back to the ledge to reset yourself. And that does give Larry a lot of bit of an advantage. Yeah, and so far though, Mr. R has been, I mean, Smashville has paid a lot of help to that yeah. for Mr. R. He has been able to find his way back to the platform into a safe space most often. Than, more often here than anywhere else in the set. So exactly. Far. Larry literally looks at death percent against Mr. R. He just needs to get back to the stage. Oh, please. I love that runoff forward air. Great edge guarding from Mr. R. Really just saying, hey, you have to recover so linearly against me. Exactly. I'm going to take advantage of that. But that falling back air is going to take advantage of the normal getup from Mr. R. Exactly. Mr. R thought it was safe for normal getup, but you're never safe from Larry. And Larry strikes back. Of tilts. I this like is it. super for dangerous. Okay, he was able to sneak that up the armor in at the last moment. Oh, that's a real bad man. You open the yeah. voltage gap, but you get hit instead. There's the nair. Great combos from Larry. Looking for the punish off the up, off the up beat. And Larry stays on the stage. Each hit Mr. R gets from the jab. Good spell credits for Larry because he's so good with the follow-ups. Yeah. He's got to get a couple more percent. Oh, great, Nair. This could be it. Yes. He tried to air dodge into the Firefox to save himself, but Larry just a little Smart too far away. Too. Yeah. If you actually would have get hit by the Firefox, you would have been able to come back. He had, he had the kill right there. Yeah. He messed up the attack cancel bear. Mr. R does not want to go to a game five. He wants to even this out really quick. He's got to find his opening. But Larry, he's got a big opening himself. 73% yes. so far. And that up beat, still paying a lot of the bills for Mr. R, oh, but Larry no. finds himself at a long angle from the side beat. Okay, man. Mr. R, this is the chance that he got in game two to see if he can do the same. Oh, he missed input that side beat. Mr. R wanted an up beat, but he actually doesn't want to miss the side beat. Oh, no. Larry missing the, the crucial punish. Yeah, thinking that he was going to be able to fall through. So that, a great tech chase with the up smash. Larry Lur is taking us to a game five. Ladies and gentlemen, Larry Lur is back. If you thought he was gone, he never was, man. He just needed a moment for himself, a swing momentum into his favor. Game five, super crucial between him and Mr. R. It is going down to the wire, game yeah. five. This is your winner's ticket in the top 24. You do not want to go in on the loser's side. There exactly. are sharks in the water. Oh, man, you, your, your region knows something about sharks, man. I, I, I know quite a bit. <laughs> you don't have to remind me. <laughs> 
Yo, but shout out to you guys winning it out in the <laughs> Senkal Sen I know, I know you guys were happy about hey, that. Hey, man, yeah. that, that wasn't us. That was uh, that was the homie Silver Fox from yeah. Senkal. Um, recently, actually, in oh. San Luis Obispo, we had a uh, charity tournament just yesterday. Okay. 73 entrants raised over $600 for Doctors Without Borders. Congrats. Oh, I saw, I saw that. Yeah, congrats. Congrats. Well, hopefully, we'll, we'll, we'll see who you say congratulations to when it comes down to game five between Larry Lair and Mr. R. Yeah, man. Battlefield for the first time in this set. Mr. R thinking that this is going to do something different for him. We'll see if that's true. There's the Yuppie out of shield. Smaller blast zones will definitely play dividends here. That up air, up B, that's so much damage. Oh, Larry already at the tail end. We're going to get a decent trade here. Missing the grab. Oh, and Mr. R missing the large back air. This is kind of the theme between both players, right? Larry gets platform extension, but Mr. R gets a smaller blast zone, and that'll be good DI from Larry. He's still able to survive. The thing is, though, if he techs in place or if he techs in, that could also spell death. I think tech away is the only situation where he doesn't die most often. But that side B is going to make Larry Lur lose his first stock. Mr. R, 27% on him. Finally getting hit by Larry Larry. He's got to get some momentum going for himself. We all know the Fox Vortex, but if Larry can pull it off here, it's going to be pretty close. Lands in with a new chair, tries to get the up air from the platform. Side B, I like it. Looking for the follow-up, but I like the fact that he sees he's looking to come back towards it like Larry finds a punish. Mr. R is doing a great job of fighting at a disadvantage in perfect spots. Oh, first hit of up air. Mr. R gonna take the advantage back. These guys just scrambling. A lot of shield being held. Neither of these guys wanna get hit. Oh, Larry just calling out with the up smash. Larry. Larry not too far behind, 70% though. He's got a lot of homework due. Yeah. The papers are due, the teacher is ready. He's right in on your grade. What can you get? Larry just has not come out on top of any of these trades. Oh, Mr. R sees the high recovery there, and he meets it up with an up air. Yeah, one more of those strong hits could spell death for Larry Lur. That was oh so scary goodness. because if Mr. R called it out, that would have been the stock. How did he go through him? Uh, I don't know what just happened. Mir miracles are made of these, but immediately Mr. R shuts that down with a two-stock lead. Finding a miracle of his own. Can he seal this out? Can you stop the reverse 3-0, Mr. R? This is your chance. Larry, he's got a chance. He's on 76 on Mr. R. Prompt can die pretty early, especially if he gets him off stage. Up B yet again. That's paying a lot of mileage for Mr. R. Yeah, big, that's big money. Oh, no! Side B's right into the F-Smash, and he is gone. Mr. R will move on into top 24 winner's side, while Larry Lur falls into the losers bracket.